Hello, welcome to Jedela Fashion Guide. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draft a basic bodice pattern. I'm going to be using the board to, for the illustration. I'm making use of my fresh curls, the long roller, the tape, and of course the marker. Now remember that uh, our fabric is to be folded into four, two parts for the front bodies and two parts for the back bodies. I'll be using this paper here as an illustration to show you that. So, assuming this is our fabric, we fold into two. Now, how do you determine the wideness? You use the widest part of the body, the hip plus extra inches. Okay? So, if this, assuming this is 14 inches wide, this will be our front bodies. And then you get another one that is one inches, one and a half inches longer. Or wider than the first one so this is 14 assuming this is 14 inches wide and this is 15 inches 15 and a half inches wide so we'll now put them together like this okay so this is our back and this is our front so this extra part is the zipper allowance and that is what I have here and this is for the front part of it so let's take a look at the measurements that we are working with We are working with a shoulder of 15, ammo depth of 6.8, I'll be explain brief, uh, briefly how I got that. We are working with a bust of 32, the waist of 30, hip 35, shoulder to bust is 9.5, shoulder to waist is 15.5, shoulder to hip is 23 inches, the dress length is 30, our nipple measurement is 7, it's going to give us 3.5, I'll explain how I got that. And all these measurements are in inches. Never have the symbols here, inches. Now let's take a look at the workings. We are going to be dividing our shoulder into two because we are doing the half part of uh, the pattern. So we are dividing by two. So 15 divided by two is 7.5 inches. Our nipple to nipple point is seven. Divided by two is 3.5 inches. Our bust, waist, and hip, we are going to be dividing by four because our fabric is folded into 4, as I've explained earlier. So, bust 32 divided by 4, we have 8 inches. Waist 30 divided by 4, we have 7.5 inches. And then hip 35 divided by 4, we have 8.75 inches. Now, you can use your calculator to do this. If you don't have a calculator, you can also use your tape. Okay? If you have tape, your, take your tape. Get to where you have 32. First of all, you fold it into two. You have 16. And then you fold again. That will now be into four. And then you have eight inches. So if you don't have a calculator, you can use your tape to do that. Shoulder 15. Shoulder 15. Into two. You just fold your tape into two to get to the 15 mark point. So we have 7.5 or 7.5. So that is how you can make use of your tip. And then the armhole depth. How do we get the armhole depth? The, the, the formula is bust divided by 6 plus 1.5. So our boss is 32. 32 divided by 6 will give us 5.3. We add 1.5 to that and we have 6.8 inches. So let's um, get down to the pattern proper. Now we are going to first of all mark out all the vertical measurements. We are using shoulder to bust 9.5 inches. So let's mark out all the vertical measurements first. 9.5 inches. I also mark it so that we can have a straight line. And then shoulder to waist. We have 15.5 inches. Shoulder to hip, we have 23 inches. You come this way and also repeat 9.5, 15.5, and then 23 inches. And of course, the dress length is 30. 30. And 
and then you take your long roller so you, you start you mark across the back and front so that it can be accurate So let's go ahead to label the lines. This is our zip allowance for the back bodies. Our zipper allowance. And then this is our, our bust line. This is our waist line. This is our hip line. And of course the dress length. This is the dress length. Now, we are going to be adding allowances when you are transferring to fabric. So after getting your pattern, if you are transferring to fabric, the dress length, you add extra, extra two inches to the down part so that you'll be able to fold the down part. Remember that you are still going to be cutting. So you add extra allowances to, to that. So let's just add it here. I'll use a broken lines to mark that so that you know that that is the allowance. Okay, so we have gotten our, gotten our vertical lines out. Now let's go to our shoulder. Let's begin to impute our measurements now. Our shoulder is 15. We are starting from this place, the front body's point. Whatever we do is affecting both the front and the back. So we said divided by 2, we have 7.5. So starting from the front, this part is from the front. Starting from the front bodies, you put your tape there and you measure 7.5 inches. Okay? I'm not going to be adding any allowance here because this is just a draft. If you are transferring to fabric, then you cannot add your, your 0.5 inches allowance. So I'm going to be stopping there. I'm not adding any allowance. Now the neck depth and the neck width I want to make use of, I want to make use of a neck width of 3.5 inches, both front and back. The neck depth, the back, I will make use of 1.5 inches, the front 4 inches. So we first of all just scale that out so that we'll be able to get the neck shape. So this is for the back pattern. And this is for the front pattern. The basic um, shape, neck shape is a round shape. So you just use your fresh curve. You can also use your free hand if you do not have a fresh curve. Okay? You can also use your free hand. This is for the back. 
you see that? So assuming you don't have a fresh curve, assuming there is no fresh curve, what you do? is to place your tape at this corner here and measure one inch and then just try to to trace out to trace it out with your hand like this you see that so if you are using the cup you see that you see that so just try to so that is for the so that is for the neck it's just a basic um, pattern so depending on the dress type that you are making if it's going to be a v or any shape but this is the basic shape the round neck this is a round neck shape okay now the shoulder at the shoulder we are going to be coming down with one inches for the shoulder slant so from this neck from this place we mark the neck we draw our shoulder slant so having gotten our shoulder slant we are going to get the the ample depth from there Remember that our angle depth after calculating we arrive at 6.8. So how do you get that on your tip? This is 6. This is 6.5. This is 6.75, which is close to 6.8. So I'm using 6.75. That is if you approximate. So just place it here and get 6. Point, which is here. So the full one. So that is our chest line. So this is our chest line. So remember that this point look at it 6.75 which is our angle depth so let's use the ruler to to mark it out so still mark out for us to know where to mark here remember that this place is 7.5 so we use it to get it 7.5 that is how you know where to mark the shoulder line okay now we're going to get the midpoint to be able to get the angle curve we'll check out the midpoint so to do that like say 6.8 divided by 2 so just simply fold your tape into two to get it, to get half of that okay So for the front bodies, we are going to go in by half inch because some, some can go in by one inch or, so, or 0 0.75 inches depending on the customer's uh, body, uh, body, okay? The angle curve is deeper when you compare the front and the back. So we are using 0 0.5 for the back. I use one inch depending on how your customer is. So um, for this customer, this is 0 0.5. And then this one is for the back for this. So I'll use my fresh curve. So let me mark the back first. This one is the back. And then this one. So this is the back. 
and this one that is inside is the front is the front ample okay so having gotten the ample let's begin to impute in our measurements remember our bust this is our bust line this is our waistline this is our hip and the dress length we are working with a bust of 32 and we said after dividing by four we arrive at eight inches so you put your tape at this front body the beginning of this front bodies you place your tape there and you get your eight inches eight inches okay then we go to the waistline our waist is 30 after dividing we have 7.5 let's see then we have 7.5 Our hip, we have 8.75 after dividing by 4. This is 8.75 here. And then we use our um, ruler to mark them out. Note that when you have to cut out, you are not going to have a sharp point like that. You just use your French curve to blend it out so that you don't have any sharp, sharp edge. Okay. So, let's impute the dart. We are going to be taking that at the waist, at the waistline. So to get the position of the dart, that is why we use a nipple to nipple point of 7. When you divide by 2, you have 3.5 inches. So place it at the beginning of the front bodies. And you mark out the 3.5 inches on the waistline. Also mark out 3.5 inches at the bust line. And 3.5 inches at the hip line. So that you can get a straight line. Connect all the lines together with your ruler. Now, the darts we are removing from the waist, we are removing one inch dart. Half from this side, half from this side. So you place your tip 0.5, which is half inch, half inch. Okay? Now, from the hip line, we'll, we'll go up by 2 inches for the front bodies. We'll go up by 2. Then for the back, we we'll go up by 1. Okay? So, from waist to the hip, we are measuring it down. So, we now have a... See what we have? 5 inches. So, depending on the customer, some people are use it, but you don't need to assume. So from the hip, take two inches upward, and then from this bust line, you come down by one inch for the front bodies. But for the back, the difference between the back and the uh, the back bodies and the front bodies of the dart is that the back bodies, because there is no no breast at the back, the the dart will not stop here. The dart will go one inch above the bust point. Or above the bust line, one inch. So I'll use connect the lines together. This is for the front part. The that for the front part. So for the sake of explanation. Remember that when you want to, if you are working on your paper, you just use your, if you have a tracing wheel, you just trace out all these lines, trace them out. After tracing and remove the front pattern, and then now continue. You now draw out, you now use a pencil, whatever you are using, to draw out the lines, and then you now connect the dots. Now the back, the, that will not end 
one inch above the bust and one inch above the hip so i'm going to be using dots so assuming this is the back i'm going to use the dot to mark it to indicate the back do you see that so this is the back the back that this is the front that because i'm using the board to explain both the front and the back but it's, I, hope you, I hope it is clear. I'll just explain that one more time. For the front bodies, we are taking the dart on the waist, 0 0.5 inches, 0 0.5 inches. From the waist, this is the hip line. From this hip line, you go up by 2 inches. That is where the dart for the front bodies will, will stop. And then, for the boss line, you come down by one inch because you don't want that to start exactly at the bust line. So you come down by one inches. But if it is the back bodies you are drafting, you go one inch above the bust line and one inch above the hip line. So take note of that. Okay, that is just uh, basically all. So if you want to add allowances how do you add your allowance first of all this dart that i've taken out i thought you cut it it's going to reduce your fabric so this one inch we are removing we're going to add it back to the fabric so if you are drafting your fabric you see one inches you add it back as you add it back before you now take your main allowance your uh, your sewing allowance let's say sewing allowance of two inches then this bust line also takes allowance of two inches the hip line allowance of two inches then the dress length whatever you take on the hip you take it down at the dress length except if it is a fitted dress then you can make uh, around the knee or just before the knee you can make it steep steeper to do that you just reduce the hip measurement by 1.5 inches so if it is a fitted dress you are making depending on what you are making our um, this is what we got as our hip measurements 8.75 that was what we got before so let's see we have marked 8.75 here So depending on what you are making, it will determine how tight you want the around the knee to be. If it's a free dress, you can use it like this and now add the allowance, the sewing allowance of 2 inches. Sewing allowance of 2 inches. And then you mark them out. But if it's a fitted dress, you want it to come in. You want it to really have a nice shape around the, the, knee, the knee then you come in by one and a half so you now have something like this so depending on what you are making for your customer so let's connect all these other lines Remember that this is a pattern. By the time you cut and trim, you are not going to have a. Of course, you have a nice shape because you have taken the that. That is all for this class. If you find this class helpful, please give me a huge thumbs up, like, share. Please subscribe to this channel. Help this channel grow. See you.